Every once in a while, I get this really strong urge to draw a beautiful woman, because why not? I always draw guys, and I love drawing guys, especially very beefy ones. But sometimes the overwhelming power of just wanting to draw a woman or a girl or anything feminine comes into my mind and I have to seize the opportunity because I don't get them a lot. It's like, I want to draw women and girls more often, but my interest just always leads me to drawing men. And I've, I've drawn more guys ever since I was younger until now. Like, I, even in my older sketchbooks, all you ever see is me drawing guys all the time so i guess that just plays on to what my <laughs> my interests are <laughs> oh i just want to note two things once again i am in my car recording because i am back at the same job with my brother so if you hear nice little car horn honks or me peeking <laughs> the ipad mic that's why i'm still trying to get used to this until i figure out the whole filming situation and all that jazz Okay, so let me explain what I'm going to be drawing today. Um, probably from the title, I, I've yet to title this video, but it'll probably say what I'm doing. I'm drawing a pinup girl. Um, how did I lead to this? Uh, I was originally uh, in a YouTube rabbit hole, as I always get into. And uh, one of the videos that I watched was the history on Betty Boop. And that fascinated me. Originally, this video wasn't supposed to be a pinup girl. It was supposed to be me drawing old-timey rubber hose cartoons that like are my own characters but as i watched that video it inspired me to draw something along the lines you know the whole history of betty boop and how she's supposed to be after flapper girls and like where everything comes from it was a really interesting video th that's for sure just literally look up the history of betty boop and you'll find probably exactly what i'm talking about um wh wh where was my train of thought where's the train Okay, I found the train. I found the train of thought. Um, from that video of Betty Boop and the whole flapper girl thing, I thought of pinup girls. And I wondered if there were any big artists who did a uh, pinup girl artwork. And then I found this guy named Gil Elvgreen, who was apparently a famous American painter who did primarily pinup girls. He worked mostly in oil paints. And when I saw this guy's art, I was like baffled. This artwork is some of the most beautiful that i've ever seen he's definitely an artist that i really like and i want to kind of look at his work more in detail now because it just each piece is really expressive and each one has a unique pose and although it's all of the same nature you're definitely looking at a different painting every time you look at his art and that's like fantastic that i could see that in that person and i could see why he's one of the greats honestly and I'm almost this tempted, I'm like this close to going to go buy his book of his artwork. And I heard it's only like $20, so I'm, I'm like this close, bro. His, his, his artwork is really fucking nice. I do want to slap a nice fat disclaimer on his artwork, though. Because um, it some of the artwork, if you go look up his name and everything and you see it on Google Images, some are much more sexually explicit than others and some may have some nudity in it. So I don't know how sensitive you are to like viewing those kinds of topics or if you're you know like allowed to view those kind of topics maybe there's an age restriction or a religious restriction or whatever um just know that that's your warning if you do go look up his art it is beautiful and i do suggest everyone give it a look but just know that you might come come across some paintings that are a little bit more mature which is you know the whole point of his artwork because it is pinup girls slash women I, don't, I actually don't know what, what's the better way to say it. I'm going to say pinup women. Girls kind of refers to my brain as younger, uh, younger, younger women or like anywhere in the teens. So I don't want to say pinup girls. I'll probably say pinup women. I'll try and keep my brain on that on that word from here on out. So I just want to state that while although Gil of Green's work was absolutely phenomenal, right? Uh, a lot of the images that I saw online weren't very diverse. The skin tones didn't go very dark and the hair kind of stayed the same way. It kind of looked like he was almost drawing the same character over and over again, but with different hair color. And that's basically it. They all had the same body too. So I kind of referenced that and how he was doing things. I, I did the curly or curly-ish hair and um, basically the staple all-American woman thing going on. 
But um, the reason why I did that is because it's my first time doing something like this. And whenever I start off something new, I always do the basic default of whatever reference I have just so I could get a feel for it. And uh, because I do want to draw more pinup girls in the future, I don't necessarily know if it's going to be on this channel if I do or if it's just in my personal work that I draw more pinup girls. They will definitely be more diverse. Um, they will have different body types and different hair, different skin tones, different eye color because every ethnicity and every woman has a different kind of sensuality and all that stuff. And I think each one of them is beautiful and should be expressed in that way. Uh, I think there is no default type of beauty, but I think probably that was just his muse and that's what he found beautiful and inspired him to draw. So I can't blame him uh, wholeheartedly on that because maybe it's just what he got comfortable in and what he liked more than anything. So there is that that I have to take into account as well whenever I look into an artist's work, including my own. Like I default to big beefy guys when um, maybe uh, a lot of people don't like that or they find that that's not um, diverse enough. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff that goes into all of that. That being said, I definitely tried to take a page out of his notebook on how he did his artwork because when I was looking at them, all the girls were happy, having fun. They were really like free in those paintings and I enjoyed like the hell out of that. I was like, man, I, I want to do something like that. Now, the drawing that I came up with is very like um, almost cliche, right? You have the girl sitting on the bed and she's on the phone talking and she's like, you know, she's having like a, a good time or whatever. I wanted something a little bit more meaty, but because this was my first ever pinup girl piece, I don't think my brain thought of anything meaty at the time. It just kind of defaulted to what this is. But granted, I have never done this pose before, I believe, especially uh, in this context. So I was like, let's try it out and see how this goes. It was nice utilizing uh, the whole body within a drawing, that's for sure, number one. Number two, I'm so glad that I did this piece um, digitally instead of traditionally, because traditionally would have would have fucked me up. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of back and forth with her body proportions and the line work and how the perspective was, which is still off, don't get me wrong, this perspective is probably really off, but I really like the outcome of it regardless because of the sole fact that it's something different and I pushed myself to do something different. Um, I, I really enjoyed the piece the entire time. I think the only thing was that I haven't done digital in a while. Like I'm talking about a good month or two now, I think I haven't done any digital art because uh, I have to be inspired really hard to do any digital art, honestly. It's, it's uh, very disconnecting for me because I like the feel of the paper and I like the feel of the pencil and the markers and I like the um, process of doing it. But when it's kind of like me holding an Apple Pencil to the uh, iPad, I'm kind of like iffy on it sometimes because it just doesn't inspire me as heavy. So yeah, I do envy the ones or the ones, the people? the people who um are able to do digital art and love it and stuff like that because there's so many more resources on digital art compared to traditional art but at the same time i'm perfectly happy with my traditional art regardless as long as we're all enjoying the process everyone can do their art medium or a certain way and all that jazz so uh because i don't always draw girls or women my brain defaults back to how I draw men. So I have to be really careful when I am drawing uh, anything of the girl, woman, feminine type, just because it's very easy to default back to what my brain always does. So I have to keep in mind on how proportions are and stuff like that. So that's what kind of gave this drawing much more of a challenge than it originally would have had if I had just practiced um, more women's anatomy. Which I'll get to eventually, but, you know, right now I'm having fun drawing, drawing men. So, so we'll, we'll get there one day. We'll, we'll get there. I think regardless, honestly, of any medium, my favorite part is always the coloring. Because it just brings it together so wonderfully. Like, having her in the red dress and the red shoes and uh, the red lipstick and the red scrunchie really just... It shows her personality more and it kind of brings her to life. 
Uh, I did kind of like purple out everything in the background just because I didn't want it to be the forefront. So um, that's kind of like a technique that I'm trying to understand how to do. So if it looks a little weird, that's because it probably is. And I'm still getting used to drawing any kind of background material. Uh, I don't do it very often and I should practice that more. There's just a whole bunch of shit I need to practice. I'm going to be honest. There's just a lot of things that I don't know how to do that I need to learn. But once I find the time to do all that, I definitely will. Uh, overall, I think that the background does kind of help push her through because it doesn't wash her out. So that was kind of my goal anyway. So I did achieve my goal. It just looks pretty, you know, basic for now, which is okay with me until I finally get the hang of everything. I don't think, however, that she's going to be a permanent OC or anything. I think she's just going to be one of the characters that I draw and then maybe in the future I come back to, maybe not. I kind of want to experiment more with different kinds of pinup girls just because it's it's fun, you know? I just like drawing them. Plus, I like the whole idea of the sensuality coming through with everything. So yeah, um, at the end of it all, I really love how this drawing came out. Um, I'm so glad that I checked myself on anatomy and all that other stuff. And I honestly think it came out pretty great. I'm definitely going to draw some more pinup women in the future just because it was so fun when I was doing it here. So yeah, thanks for watching and remember I love you. Bye.